So now we have Atlanta Hawks, Clippers, possible trade proposal. And the uh, trade proposal is regarding uh, a player called Clint Capella. And, you know, for, for years I've been watching Clint Capella play. You know, he's pretty much a very good, solid role player. He definitely, you know, is not somebody who really can get his shot on his own. But he's somebody who can be assisted and could be assisted at a high level. Because uh, I remember him specifically in Houston with James Harden, where James Harden utilized him basically for lobs all the time. And, you know, catching things off the rebound in regards to misses and things like that. And he does things like that very well. He's really good at the little things, you know, that can, you know, help and uh, assist in regards to, you know, uh, a team's offense rolling or playing at a, a decent level, pretty high level. So, I mean, I'd definitely give him that. And he can, you know, block some shots. He's definitely not somebody shy on the defensive end. And he's definitely somebody I think that the uh, Clippers would be able to utilize very highly. And, um... In regards to this, the proposal trade would be Robert Covington and Zubak for Clint Compella is part of the, the, the trade package deal. Now, me personally, here again, this is a situation where I don't like this. I don't like the fact that Robert Covington is added into this trade for, you know, along with um, Zubak for Clint Compella, somebody who's, you know, uh, I mean, he 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 can be, he could make an All Star team, or maybe he has, but I don't really see him as an All Star caliber type player. But either way, he has you know potential of that, and all that's good. But I don't really think trading Robert Covington is the answer, you know, to what they, it, it, is is worth it. I mean, because if you're gonna trade Robert Covington and you're gonna trade Ivica Subak for one guy in. You know, Clint Capella, who is good, who is a very good role player, and who I think can, who I think would fit with the Clippers very good. I mean, honestly, even if they did trade, I mean, I think the, the, the trade wouldn't be bad in regards to the trade itself. But just what the Clippers are giving up for Clint Capella, Clint Capella I don't necessarily agree. I don't really think they should trade Rocco. I, I think they should keep him. I think Robert Covington is a, a very good two way player. He can stretch the floor, he can knock down threes. And on top of that, he's one of their valuable pieces that I think that they didn't utilize a lot this past season. I think that that falls on Ty Lue's shoulder because I think you should use somebody like him because he can, you know, he, he can give a different dynamic to the team. And he's one of those type guys who make things happen as soon as he gets on the floor. He can, he can, you know, disrupt, you know, call turnovers, all type of things. So I feel like Rocco has more value than what the Clippers even, you know, think of him. You know what I'm saying? And I really don't understand why they don't value him like that or why they don't give him much playing time. They'd rather give somebody like Marcus Morris, you know, more playing time than uh you know Rocco and really Marcus Morris is good you know but Rocco is like a younger version of him and he's a little bit taller and he can you know shoot the three maybe not he can't shoot the three as well as Marcus Morris but he can still stretch the floor and on top of that he's still a, a, a valuable piece in regards to a team I think winning a championship because he's one of those guys that you can throw at the opposing team superstar and he may can't stop him but he can you know bother him a little bit with his length and and his ability and, and, you know, cause turnovers. And he's just one of those type guys. And I don't know why the Clippers don't utilize him like that. I just think it's utterly stupid to trade for somebody like him along with Norman Powell and don't get the usage out of two players you traded for from the Portland Trailblazers like a couple seasons ago. I mean, honestly, you know, the, the Clippers are going to have to wake up and really start seeing things for what it's worth rather than, you know, um, trying to experiment and do things that's really not help, really not helping their cause. Now, of course, everybody's going to blame it on Kawhi and PG not being healthy, but even if they were healthy, you still got to have the right game plan. You still got to have the right pieces in the starting lineup. You still got the right pieces on the floor. And I don't really believe that Ty Lu has all the right pieces if he's not using Rocco. But my, that's another story for another day. But I don't really think he should be one of the ones that's traded. I think they should really find a way to keep Rocco. If they want, if the Atlanta Hawks want to just do an even swap, you know, Zubak for Clint Capella, I think that's good enough. If Atlanta wants a future pick or something like that, then, okay, maybe the Clippers maybe should throw that in there, you know, along with the deal or something like that to give them. 
a future pick so they'll have some security for the future. If that's what they're looking for, that's what they're asking for. But they shouldn't require two players from the Clippers for one guy who they really apparently want to get rid of or don't feel like, you know, um, I'm not going to say they don't feel like they need him, but they don't feel like his services are, you know, a high priority for them to keep if they're actually shopping him around. So, I mean, honestly, the Clippers would be dumb giving up two players for Clint Capella. I think Clint Capella's worth maybe, you know, a straight up swap for Zubak. And really, that's it. I mean, he's not like, you know, he he's not even really kind of like the player that he was, uh, I'd say, a few years ago with James Harden on the Houston Rockets or anything like that. But, I mean, there again, he does play for the Atlanta so you don't really hear much about him but at the same time I think he can really you know feed off of you know what the Clippers have and everything he was on the team but I just don't want the Clippers to give up a lot to get him and I just don't think that's the route the Clippers should go because as I said before and as you heard me state many times the Clippers have so much depth that's what makes them unique that's what's going to that's what's going to help them win the championship if they stay healthy enough to get that far to possibly put themselves in position to do so their depth is what's going to help them it's not the fact they got Kawhi and PG those are the starters those are the guys in the forefront but the guys on the back end that do a lot of the dirty work and the things like that those are the guys they're gonna have to count on and like I said they need those role players on the back end to support them to have that support system if you give up too much of your role players to get a guy here and there or to trade for uh, one or two pieces here and there you're you're gonna make a mistake you're gonna make a huge mistake but as I said the Clippers organization have been known for making dumb decisions organizationally wise so hopefully this time this season you know this off season they do a lot better you know than they did in previous you know off seasons in the past so um i'm very interested to see how this one pans out but um either way leave your comments in the comment section let me know what you think about it and um we'll talk about it